What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Bungie's reveal stream gave us a lot of information and news about a lot of things coming in year 2 of Destiny. One of the more anticipated news that a lot of us wanted to learn about was exotic blueprints. So yesterday in their reveal teaser trailer that they dropped for today's stream, there was a glimpse that they gave us of exotic blueprints and it was a screenshot of the page of exotic blueprints in the tower so a lot of people are speculating what this could mean and what it is for our exotics going forward into next year for destiny and now that the stream happened we got some news and information on what exotic blueprints actually are so let's get into it so exotic blueprints are basically a catalog of all the exotics you have earned from year one as well as the exotics that you will earn coming in the second year of Destiny along with the bunch of new exotics that they're adding to the game. So it's kind of similar to the emblem collection kiosk that they showed in the stream as well because it catalogs all your exotics that you've collected up to this point. However, it's a little bit different. So the first thing you need to know is that it keeps track of all the exotics that you earned across all three of your characters on your account. So if you need to come back and repurchase an exotic in case you accidentally dismantled it or you want a duplicate copy of one of them, then you can come back here and repurchase it. And for the year one exotics, I believe you have to purchase it through Glimmer and an exotic shard and that's it. So for year one exotics, all you need are exotic shards and some Glimmer. However, for the year two exotics, I believe it costs legendary marks. The next main point is that some of the exotics from year one are able to be upgraded for year two. So not all of the exotics have been upgraded for year two, but some of them have and they also have been modified in terms of stats and perks as well. So as we can see right here, Light Beyond Nemesis and Obsidian Mine is in the year two helmet section for the Warlock. So as we can see here, we can take a look at some of the new perks for the newer version of Light Beyond Nemesis, having increased intellect and increased discipline, a new perk called Heavy Lifting, which gives you bonus super energy for killing minions of the darkness with heavy weapons. We also get gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups, as well as increased super energy from killing minions of the darkness in general. So really cool new perks for some of these older year one exotics that's always good and another thing that they mention is as long as you've gotten the exotic in year one you will have access to the year two version automatically from these kiosks so it's pretty cool as long as you've gotten it from year one you don't have to go out and find it again you don't have to get lucky in a nightfall drop in any type of drops or rewards but you can just come here and access it once again so that's really cool all you have to do is pay some le some legendary marks for it and you can uh, repurchase the upgraded year two version of some of your older year one exotic so that's really good that's good news to hear it takes away less of the grinding to get some of the older exotics that we've already earned uh, back again in its newer form so that's really good so similar thing for the exotic weapon blueprints as well we get to see here uh, there's going to be two machines separate one for exotic weapons and one for exotic armor and both of them are going to be in the room with the vanguard so it's really cool we have access to all our exotics in a separate area and also it allows you to do the same thing for the weapons if you want to buy another copy for some of these year one weapons you can just pay an exotic shard along with some glimmer and you can get another copy or in case you accidentally deleted yours you can get another one again so pretty similar just like the armors and then on the previous page there are some weapons that have been upgraded for year two as well as we can see at the top uh, Surus Regime is one of them at the top we can see last word I believe is there and uh, there were others that were shown in the screenshot from the teaser yesterday as well like Bad Juju and stuff so really cool we can get access to the newer versions of the weapons as well so we can look at some of the newer weapons like the new Surus Regime there's a new Thunderlord over there as well that we can see and we can instantly buy them for legendary marks if we want to and as long as we've gotten it from year one you once again have access to the upgraded Taking King version of it. So right here we can take a look at the new Soros regime for year two. 
it's slightly revamped for year two and the first thing we see in terms of changes is the focus fire perk and now you can choose whether to have it on or off so that's really good a lot of people had a problem with that for the Suros from year one a lot of people didn't want to upgrade it because they wanted it to have that fast fire rate still and also we see a change in color so the Suros is black and red now not white and red and it looks pretty good so that's really cool that we have access to some of these newer exotics or or upgraded exotics I should say as long as we've gotten the older versions from year one so I can't wait to try out some of the newer upgraded exotics so that's about it for exotic blueprints I'm really excited to try out some of the upgraded year one exotics as well as find some of these newer year two exotics in terms of new weapons and armor I'm really excited to get my hands on some of the new gear and that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching more videos to come on the reveal so stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!